Right, the last part of today's class, we're going to talk about professional individual sport. How professional individual sport has been organized and governance. So we have spent time to talk about professional team sport. So it has been organized as a professional sports league. So the question is, how professional individual sport has been organized? So how would it difference compared to professional team sports? Speaking of the professional individual sport. We say tennis and golf; those two sports are so well developed internationally, so been pretty successful. So when we look at the unique features of these professional individual sports,、um, the first thing made them different is in terms of event organization. Professional individual sport has been organized as a tour. Like tennis, we have ATP WTA tour, right? We have a、uh, ten.、Uh, Golf, we have a PGA tour, we have LPGA tours. So they all organize as a tour. So the tour、um, basically allow the player to play at multiple different competitions, right? So that is the first things. Um, however, professional sports team sport, so they has been organized as a professional sports league, right? That's the first thing difference. The second difference is the multiple different governing bodies involved. We're using tennis. As example, so you have、uh, ATP, which is a men's professional tennis association. You have WTA, which is a women professional tennis association. You also have ITF, which is international tennis federations. So multiple different governing bodies involved.、Um, when we look at golf, is the same, right? Golf has a、uh, two main governing bodies. One is USGA, a United States Golf Association. Another one is A real and ancient golf clubs of the St Andrews, we call RNA, which is also the golf golf's governing bodies. Golf and also have a PGA Tour. They also have a PGA of America. Different types of organizations involved into the managements. And the third thing is the tour store a very size for the events.、Um, so unlike professional、uh, team. Sports, professional team sports. They all have the home teams and away teams. So you play at home field, you play in the away games. But professional individual sport,、um, they don't have a home venue. So they have to travel all year round for all the competition. They have to compete at different types of the venues, right? So that's the third thing that made them different. And the last thing that made them different is when we look at from players' perspective. Professional individual players are sell employees. They don't sign a contract with the teams.、Um, it's that they're sell employee. They're hiding their own contracts.、Um, they're hiding their own coaches and trainers, and they also have to pay salaries. Right. So those are different. So they gen generate revenue from two different resources. One is the press money, where the better result you got. The more money you be generated. The second thing is appearance fees. So some of the event, in order to attract those high profile、uh, tennis player, golf player to participate, so they pay them appearance fees, right? So those are the main revenues. When we look at professional team sports, that the team sport athletes mainly generate personal income from signing the contract with the teams. Right, so those are the differences for the professional individual sports. So we're mainly going to focusing on、uh, professional golf. So professional golf industry is very complicated. If you had a chance to read the textbooks,、um, they introduce a lot about USGA, RNA. So that sounds pretty complicated. So if we look at professional golf industry. So the all the golf rules are set by two main governing body. One is U U S Golf Association. Another one is R N A, which is Royal and Andrews Golf Clubs of the、uh, Royal Ancients Golf Clubs of the Saint Andrews. So if you're familiar with the history of the golf, you know golf is actually developed or、uh, invented in Scotland. Right, so R N A Golf Clubs of Saint Andrews was the first golf club in the world. So the sport was actually invented in R N A in eighteen centuries.、Uh, after sport was invented in R N A, majority of the golf rules was set by the R N A at the beginnings.、Um, we've 
the popularity of the golf in the U.S. So USGA was created. More and more golf events has been organized in the U.S. So there, some of the golf rule has also been changes when the golf is being to play in the U.S. In order to promote this sport internationally, so RNA and the USGA decided to work together, become a two main governing bodies, and they share the commitments to set the golf rules in the golf world. So this is about the USGA and the RNA. They're the two main governing bodies in professional golf industries. Right, we have a lot of professional golf tours existing. I did not calculate it, but I think I have at least twenty plus golf course, a、uh, golf golf tour. So we have a PGA tour, which is the most well known one. So we have PGA European tour. Possibly some people have heard about PGA Canada tour, PGA Japan tour, Australia tour, China tour, Asia tour. Right, different types of tour existing. I also have LPGA, right, which is a girls professional. Ah,、uh, golf associations, right. The most important event for the golf industry is four majors, right. Anyone know about four majors? We have U.S. Open, PGA Championships, the Open Championship, and Masters. So all the event has been organized by different governing body or different golf course. So U.S. Open has been organized by USGA. PGA Championship has been organized by PGA of America. An open championship has been organized by RNA Golf Clubs. A master is been organized by Augusta Golf Clubs, located in Georgia. Right. So these are four majors. We talk about governing bodies of professional golf, including USGA and RNA. Right, real and ancient golf clubs of St Andrews. They work together to govern the sports of golf. So RNA. Um, is basically governing body of worldwide, except the U.S. and Mexico. And U.S.O.、Uh, U.S.G.A. is mainly、um, oversee how golf has been developed in the U.S. and Mexico. So R.N.A.、Um, basically oversee one hundred fifty six organization from the amateur and professional golf on behalf of over thirty million golfers in one hundred forty three countries. Right, so we talk about the shared commitment to the single core for the rule of golf and rule of amateur steps and equipment standards. If you look at the rule introduced by RNA and the USGA, it would say pretty much majority of them are same. Ninety-eight percent of them are same. Only two percent of the regulations may be different. Like golf core may be a little different. So those are the main differences. So those are two main governing body. One's USGA, another one's RNA. So a little bit more information about USGA was founded in 1894. So its main responsibility was to determine equipment standards to set the golf course rating systems. So they host a 17,、uh, 13 national championships,、uh, including U.S. Open, which is a one of the four majors, and also include. One of the four major for women golf,、um, that is、uh, U.S. Opens,、uh, women's opens. Okay, so for the USGA, they basically oversee、um, like PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, and PGA of Americas. Right, RNA.、Uh, we talk about the golf club itself was founded in 18th century, but in 2004, the RNA separated itself from the real and Ancient golf club of St Andrews become a separate governing bodies in golf. So for the RNA,、um, they're mainly going to oversee、um, the sport outside the U.S. and the Mexico. So they host the Open Championships, as you know.、Uh, Open Championship also has been called British Opens, right? So they also oversee other events like、um, ATP European Tour, ATP Challenger Tour. And you know, Japan golf tour, you know PGA Australian tour, so this kind of sunshine tour, different other tours. So they have a very clear boundaries in terms of work、um, event. They're mainly going to oversee, right? So those are the USGA and RNA. And a lot of people got very confused about USA of、uh, PGA of America and the PGA tour.
So what are the differences? So in the past, PGA of America and PGA Tour was actually the same organization. So PGA of America was founded in 1916s. So at the beginning, majority of the professional golf in the U.S. They would just teach people how to play golf. So their job was that. But you know, there are some of the event has been organized. As some professional golf start to play in the competition. So they create a、uh, two different interests. One kind of golf they still just want to stay in the golf club, teach people how to play golf. Another kind of like golf professional they want to compete at the competitions. So in 1968. So PGA was created. So they separate themselves from the PGA of America to operate the tournament player division. So until today, they become a two very separate organizations. So PGA of America, they're currently focusing on professional instructions and golf managements. So PGA Tour, they focus on professional play. So professional player, you want to play in the high level competition, you have to go. And compete at the event organized by the PGA Tour. So for the PGA of America, they host four major championships. So four major championships not equal to four majors, right?、Um, including PGA Championship, which is one of the four major events in professional golf. They also organize event called Later Clubs. Some people might know that's a competitions between. U.S. and Europe's that's kind of like a team competition that has been host every single years. So in the past, Later Club was a competition between U.S. golfers and British golfer, but now expanded be- between the competition between U.S. and Europe's. So for the PGA Tour, we talk about the folks on professional play. So they have a lot of events. You have the PGA Tour, you have Web.com Tour, you have PGA China, PGA Canada, and the PGA Latin America Tour. So So people will want to know. So if I'm a college golfers, I want to have a PGA Tour car. How could I get a PGA Tour car? So if you are pretty well know,、uh, college golfers, right? So you would normally can play in a Web.com Tour immediately. If you're not, you start from one of lower divisions, very similar to like professional. Sportsly in Europe, right? You play a lower division a little bit, so you possibly chose to play in PGA Tour in Canada. So you accumulate your point. When you accumulate the point, you put your in what ranking? You what ranking reach reach to certain level? You can play at the Web Dog Contour. So Web Dog Contour, um, play for the whole season. If your price money is top thirty five in the Web Dog Contour, and you will be able to receive a PGA Tour card, which means you can. Play at the PGA Tour for next season, so currently it's about one hundred forty or one hundred fifty golfers. They have a PGA Tour card. They can play at the PGA Tour, right? So PGA Tour has mainly hosts in the U.S. So what would be the competitive balance strategy has been utilized by professional individual sport? So professional golf use a lot of strategy to enhance the competitive balance. The first thing is the classification of all the different events. We talk about we have PGA Tour, we have Web.com Tour, we have PGA Canada Tour. So based on players' level, you play in the different competition to make sure you know PGA Tour is still the most difficult,、um, most high levels, the highest levels of competition in the professional golf. Right, so that is a one things, and also they're using seating separate top player in the draw, and they will not meet in the early rounds of the tournaments, and also they have a、uh, making the cups. Right, so if you watch a golf competition, normally lasts for four days, so normally first two days they will eliminate some players, the players be able to play over the weekends, become more intensive, and also the top finisher normally has been scheduled in the same groups, so make sure the competitions become very intensive, right? The first groups normally is the people to be very likely to win the titles, so this is the strategy the professional golf use in order to enhance the competitive balance. As we're looking at some of the issue in professional golf, and、uh, the textbook you talk about a lot of different types of issue, including how these sports can generate more attentions from the younger、uh, generations.
Right. So another big issue we talk about professional individual sport that can involve with a lot of different governing bodies. Right. You have USGA, you have RNA, you have PGA Tour, you have PGA European Tour. Right. A lot of different governing bodies involved. So they create a lot of internal conflict between these governing bodies. So one of the big conflict right now. Um, it's one of PGA player told me. It's a one of player conflict right now is um if you're going to win the PGA Tour events and PGA European Tour event, the point you get and the prize money you get are very very similar. However, um PGA Tour is a lot difficult compared to PGA European Tour. So, because RNA is a governing body, so they have done an excellent job to negotiate a very good deal for the European Tour. So, although maybe European Tour is less competitive compared to PGA Tour, but the the money, the price money they get, and the point they get are also very similar for the player who compete at the PGA Tour. So that creates some unfairness in these competitions. So because the point they get is actually impact about their rankings, right? So that's become a big issue. Is internal conflict between these governing bodies, these competitions involves. All right. So those are the issues in the professional individual sport. Um, if you have any other question, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me and send me an email. Let me know. Okay, so today uh, we spend time to talk about professional individual sport, professional team sport in the U.S. and professional team sport outside of U.S. Do not forget to complete today's assignments.、Uh, I will see you guys next times.